what volume of this sodium hydroxide must be added to some acetic acid we have to raise its pH to 4 at 25 degrees Celsius. So um, let's take a look. First, let's find out what the pKa is for our acetic acid. That's 4.74. Okay. And we have um, quite a bit of uh, information here. Now, we want to go ahead and uh, use the Henderson Hasselbalch equation to find the ratio. Okay, so the pH is equal to the pKa plus the log of the base over acid ratio. So the pH is 4. The pKa is 4.74. Okay, and that's going to give us log of the base over the acid. So um, let's get this on our calculator. So uh, negative 0.74 is equal to the log base over acid. Take the anti-log of this, so basically 10 to the negative 0.74 is equal to that ratio. Okay, and uh, so second function log on my calculator, and I get a value of Um, 0 0.18 okay so we'll use that information here now how many moles of acetic acid do we have here so acetic acid we have um, 0 0.5 liters and we have that molarity so, you know, that's 0.5 times 0.3 in your calculator, or 0.15 moles of acetic acid. And we're just going to call it HA here. Okay? Now, we have some uh, sodium hydroxide. Now, initially, we have 100% acetic acid, and we're going to add sodium hydroxide to this. Okay? And that's going to convert some of the acetic acid to uh, sodium acetate, which is the base form. Okay, this is the base right here. And it's going to decrease the acid concentration. But the total moles of acid to base is going to be 0.15, okay? Initially, we have all acid. If we treat it with sodium hydroxide and kill all of it, we'll have all base but the sum of the acid and the base must be equal to uh, 0.15 moles. So we have this equation here that I'm boxing up, and we know that the acid plus the base equals 0 0.15 moles. So um, we have two equations and uh, one unknown, so we just, I mean two equations and two unknowns, so we just need to find it. So let's go ahead and solve for the acid here. 0.15 minus the base. Okay, and we'll take this and substitute it into the first equation. And we'll change to a blue pen here. So base divided by this guy here. 0 0.15 minus the base is equal to 0 0.18. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, solve for this. The base is going to be equal to 0.15 times 0 0.18 or 0 0.027 minus 0 0.18 times the base. And so we'll add 0.18 to each side. Divide by 1.8, 1.18. 1 
and the base is going to be equal to 0 0.023 uh, moles here okay and blue and then the acid remember the acid plus the base must be equal to 0 0.15 moles so let's just substitute in and solve for acid so it's going to be 0.15 minus 0 0.023 or 0 0.127 okay so from these two values, I'll use purple here, um, this ratio right here, in order for the pH to be 4, must be created from this much acid and this much base. Okay, and you can, you know, double, double check that, and we will. So base is 0.023, if we divide by 0.127, uh, it's, a, it's a value of 0.18, which we already had calculated. If I hit shift, I'm sorry, not shift. If I hit log, I get a negative 0.74. And if I add that to 4.74, I get 3.998. So that's really close. So I've double checked these. These look good. Now, how much base do I need? The base as I mentioned in this chemical reaction okay comes from adding sodium hydroxide if I add 0 0.03 moles of sodium hydroxide I'll make 0 0.03 moles of base so basically what I'm saying is that I need 0 0.023 moles of base which is going to be the same as 0 0.023 moles of my NaOH that I'm adding so I have some information up on top I'm gonna box this in green I have the volume and I have the moles okay so remember that 0.422 M capital M is that many moles per liter okay and I'm gonna multiply that by some volume I'll call it X, and that's going to be 0 0.023 moles. Okay, another way of setting this up, which I like to do, is flip the molarity upside down and use this as a conversion factor. And I'm going to multiply this by 0 0.023 moles. Okay, and that's going to give me uh, 0. 055 liters. Move the decimal place over three, and that's 55 milliliters. Okay. So, a bunch of steps algebra, solving equations, plugging in the result into.